Good morning to after six seasons as the Clay County Boys head basketball coach Robert Markham steps down from the program. 144 wins, two 13th region titles, and he won the 49th district every year he was there. This season, the Tigers finished 25 and 8 and lost to South Laurel in the region championship game. Markham went 0-2 at the Boys Sweet 16, but won the WYMT Mountain Classic back in January of 2011. Now, the official introduction of new U-Pike women's basketball coach Brandon Bias yesterday afternoon in Pikeville. Bias was announced as the new coach of the Bears last week, taking over for jo Joanna McNamee, who is now at the University of Albany. Bias spent last season as an assistant to Coach Mack and says being from the area, he's not looking at this opportunity as a short-term thing. He plans on being at Pikeville for a long time. I want to be here for, for a very long time. This is not a, a hit and run, and I'm, I'm continuing on. And if we have two good seasons, I, I, can, I can advance and go somewhere. I, I'm, I'm going to be here for the long haul and, and, and see the program through uh, even better days. And, and it, it'll mean something for me to be the, well, that I am the head coach at the University of Pikeville. So. For the first time in school history, Hazard made it to the All-A State Baseball Championship game this past weekend. And while they come home as runner-ups, the Bulldogs can feel confident at getting back to Whitaker Bank Ballpark later this month, perhaps. Griffin Wells, their ace, solid on the mound. Ten strikeouts in the semifinal game against Somerset. But they just didn't have enough versus Beachwood in the title game. Good news is they'll get a second crack at it if they can win the 14th region. This, this tournament is important and, uh, you know, we get a double shot at an opportunity to come down here at Whitaker Park uh, because we're a Class A team. That's a fine uh, baseball team over there. I mean, we can't hang our heads. That team right here will probably win the ninth region later on. Phil Grundy's Somerset Briar Jumpers lost to the Dogs in the All-A State Semis, but Coach says the experiences kids had will have an impact moving forward because they'd like to get back for the big state tourney as well. Coach Grundy also says it should give them a little juice for the rest of the season. Yeah, I think it's huge. Uh, like I said, I think our 12th region is tough baseball. You know, West Jess was a state champion out of that region. Mercer's been terrific all, uh, in the last four years. This get, Our guys, knows what it, uh, they know what it takes. Our, our problem is... Uh, I'm hoping they don't have a letdown after this game. Uh, this was a big game, but it's uh, it's a tournament we'd like to win, but it's something that should give them the experience and motivation to, I guess, come back with a little more fire the rest of the season. All right, now to the pros. The Reds welcoming in the Pirates' seventh game between these two teams, each looking to break the 3-3 tie in the season series. Bottom first, we've got the bases empty, no outs. Zach Cozart. Bye. That's a leadoff, Jack. Reds lead 1-0. Bottom six. Reds down a run. Joey Votto. Bye. That's a hashtag big boy blast. And the Reds tie the game up at two. Bottom seven. The Reds, they are Jason Giroux lead. Flying solo last night. Tucker Barnhart get up and get out. That's another solo, Jack. The go-ahead solo homer secures it this time. Reds win 3-2. DeMarcus Cousins, Rajon Rondo, and Willie Cully Stein finally get their new head coach in Sacramento. The Kings hire Dave Yeager. This comes two days after he was fired as the Memphis Grizzlies head coach. He replaces George Carl and becomes the Kings' ninth head coach since the team went to the playoffs in 2006. And of course, that was under Rick Adelman. That's a first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.